not lazy. I've known this video was eventually going to happen, so I deferred maintenance for like the last year for, for all of you. So you're welcome. <laughs> My First Fish Tank and Marine Depot are proud to present the final installment in Saltwater Aquariums Demystified. Maintenance. I really believe variety is good for your fish, so I feed twice a day a mix of pellets, of flakes, of frozen, and refrigerated. Today, Rig Nutrition. currently use Brightwell Reef Code A and B, and I have these Camower, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. I have two of these, and I just haven't set them up yet. So until then, a cap full of day seems to keep the reef healthy and happy. First of all, it's relaxing, and second of all, just make sure your fish and your livestock are healthy. Just to be sure. Just in case you see something in this video and you're like, I need that, links are below. I got two tanks that currently don't have an auto top off system, so we gotta go old school. Ninety-five percent of all of the scraping of the glass I do is with the flipper. But sometimes there's just places the flipper can't get, like your overflow box or, or, or the weir. So for those, I use the Kent Marine. I think it's called the Pro Scraper too. And then I also have a handheld size one for my smaller tanks. <laughs> Some of my tanks use filter socks for mechanical filtration. Some of them use sponges. That's about it. By the way, if you want more detail on my maintenance schedule and checklists that you can print out, just click blog below. tanks with auto top off reservoirs I probably evaporate two gallons of water a day so it's a big job take a five gallon bucket let's get to work Everybody needs a break. Okay, well, we got about two hours of testing, so I guess we should get going.
When it comes to mixing up food, I use this disgusting blue urine cup. I, I think it's a urine collection cup. Like when you go to the doctor, you can get like a four pack on Amazon and they're the perfect size. For foods, I use a variety because again, I think variety is the spice of life and I think your corals really like variety. So for my all natural food, I use Felice Reef Coral Food. Then I use quite a few different reef nutrition products. And then a couple of my favorites are Polyp Lab, Reefroids, and Coral Frenzy. And then I also have a frozen option from my man V2O Fish Foods. I just love their stuff. silver sides, which are these really fishy smelling fish, but I have found that my anemones, I'm not saying all anemones, just my anemones seem to eat part of it and then spit the rest out, so I don't feed those anymore. Here's what I feed. I do Reef Nutrition, Better Brine, and Mysis Feast. Then for the V2O fish foods, I use Fish and Reef number one, got a lot of shrimp in there. Mini Mysis, I think this is probably the anemone's favorite food. And then spirulina, which is brine shrimp and mysis. Then I use Hikari Mega Marine. It's got a lot of shrimp in there. And then I use Piscine Energetics PE Mysis Shrimp. I think they're hungry. Let's go feed them. Go do the rest of them. use a gravel vac and if you don't want to spill dirty disgusting salt water on the ground use a clamp to hold this end in place trust me it's worth it first purchases I made over five years ago was an RODI system. $200, best money I ever spent. stretch. I only have one monthly task and I forgot to put the chemicals out. Hold on, wait a second. Wait for it. <laughs> there we go. I don't run chemical filtration all the time, but I do run them sometimes. What are the chances I actually ran out of paper on the last one. Every six months, do a vinegar bath with all of your pumps, whether it's your wave makers, your utility pumps, your return pumps. I haven't done it in a year. It's a pain to do because you have to disconnect everything. You have to soak it for several hours with vinegar. 
then you have to clean it, you have to rinse it, you have to put it back, but it will save you thousands of dollars and keep your pumps working for a long time. I don't wanna do it, I don't wanna do it, but guess what? This is the last thing I gotta do. Let's do it. I am wiped. We did it. Episode 10 done. Wonder what's next for Marine Depot and my first fish tank. Tune in next week to find out. Happy reefing, everyone. Bye.